Hey guys, your boy Gavarez, and welcome to my review for episode 19 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friends of Magic. A Fault in Our Kitty Marks, which is, I guess, a play on the title of that movie that came out last year or was it the year before. The one about the kids with cancer or shit like that. It was based on a book. I... But yeah. This episode was good. I mean it starts off with the Crusaders who's talking with a some I said parents to uh pony whose school is is keeping busy. Yeah, and sweet Bona when we're talking to her the pony, to her parents. The parents were worried about what their daughter's key mark meant, but their fears of her possibly becoming a pirate were not, not genuine. And she, in fact, became she um, turned. It turns out her key mark was for archaeological. I fucking hate that word. Archaeologically. <clears throat> I've always hated saying that word. I just I keep saying it wrong. I don't know why. I'll just. I don't know. Yeah, the same profession as Indiana Jones. There you go. I can't say it properly. So, that that's the that's the most famous. This guy whose job that is who I can compare to. So that's what her key mark meant and their fears that she might be a pirate. Were uh, un unwarranted. So, is it? So you're very happy, D. As they're traveling back to the, the uh, clubhouse, they pass by a bunch of ponies they've helped. Oh, some on camera, some off. And uh, yeah, it's really great to see how far the, what that they have come. But I'm just like. Why is it... No, the the problem shouldn't come to them. This is my only problem with this episode, is that the problem came to them again. Stop doing that, Hasbro. For fuck's sake, you have a map that, that puts the kiwi mark circling around the place that the main six needs to go. Oh, oh, but the CMC can't fucking use it. Why not? That's probably, that is, more than likely, that's their last, that, that's their last episode of, this is the last episode they'll f focus on the CMC before the end of the season. There's going to be an episode featuring Apple Bloom later, or, but the CMC, they're done for the season. Unless they're somehow involved in the finale, but that's so. I'm just like, why, why, why? Hey, hey. They, they pretty much build it up and say, oh, oh, they got our marks. Right. Now they're gonna go and help ponies who who don't know what their human mark means or, or can't. Get a Q mark, or, 
Let's go around the quest and, and help other ponies. No! They aren't gonna go around the quest trail because as fuck us and fuck what we want. And, you know, stick them in Ponyville and make the problem come to them. And, well, I'm okay with that happening hmm, hmm, sometimes. That, that's okay if it happens sometimes, but every problem they have should not come to them. I get that they're young. I get that they're young, and, you know, I think it was Sweet Bell who emphasized in their first episode here that... Yeah, it was Sweet Bell. Sweet Bell said that Rarity wouldn't let her, might not let her travel around the quest tree. And when Apple Bloom suggested that they do travel on the quest trail looking for ponies to help, well, but if that's a if that's a concern or if that you know if if the CMC need an adult with them to travel, even though they've traveled well, to Cantala up or on their own, hmm? Hmm? in the uh, in um. The uh, episode where Luna appears in Sweet Bell's dream, and um, you know, for whom the Sweet Bell toils. Also, I almost forgot the name of the episode there. But yeah, they, 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 they don't need an adult. And if you do, who want one of the main six to go with them, just have one of the main six go with them. They don't have to get involved. You can just have them go with them. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you know, you have three viable options, Apple Jack, or Rarity, or Rainbow Dash, or one of the other three. He could do it. it or Starlight, since she, he vanishes this for about ten episodes every so often. Why doesn't she do it? it. Sol problem solved. Done. I uh, know, I'm focusing more on mm, 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 what they should be doing with the ZMZ and what happened in the episode. Let's get back to the episode. So, the ZMZ arrive at the their clubhouse and find a griffin sitting on top of it. Sweet Bell pulls out a racist remark, because reasons. And obviously, the ZMC obviously heard what happened between Gilda and uh, when Gilda came into um, Ponyville, but they obviously didn't hear what happened in Griffinstone. How Gilda, you know, isn't considered a bitch anymore. Well, she's still technically a bitch for yelling a flourish and being a general dick to ponies of Ponyville. Well. Well, she, he helped. Her. She saved him with the, uh, Ash and, and Pinkie Pie's. Oh, oh. So I don't know why he, he the main six didn't bother telling the see, see, he did that. That the Griff, the Griffins are um, that they can. Hmm. The Griffins aren't down. You know, Greedy and grumpy and stuff like that. So yeah, they try to sneak away, but it it's the Griffin instantly is he flies down to him, and she starts fangirling. Like this is this almost levels uh, matches the level of fangirling Rainbow Dash did for the Wonderbolts. It was weird. And, yeah, I have to say, I really liked the character of Gabby, or Gabriella, or whatever they're going to call her. Or she and, it seems like Gabby is what they're going to go with. I don't know if she's going to return, I'd say. 
chances are she'll be referenced as Gab again. Anyway, um, but yeah. So she comes to the CMC. She he has heard a lot from um, people. Pies. He's slip of the tongue there. She's heard from. She's heard her a lot about what the CMC have done for other ponies. He's received. Yeah, the ponies they've helped. And Gabby talking to them. And so Gabby comes to the same seat and she is looking to get her cutie mark. The same seat are a little, little, little on the skeptic side, but they, you know, they decide, you know what, let's help her. But they do who consult old, old Twilight. He instantly. He, he, he boots me up why I said earlier, and that they could go with one of the, he not, one of the main things that they do not consider her family, he, he, or are actually family, he, he, because they seem to have a good relationship with Twilight, he, I think, let's not forget that they, he respect Fluttershy to hell, and they probably have lots of fun with Pinkie Pie. You don't need to keep them in Ponyville for their problems. I... Again, going off track. Um, so, yeah. Uh, uh, Twilight as says she's never heard of any other creature other than ponies getting cutie marks, so... The seems here aren't sure if they can help Gabby get a Q mark, but they decide maybe they can figure out what she wants to do in life. If like instead of actually getting a Q mark, you know, she can actually figure out what she wants to do and just do it anyway. You know. Oh. oh so why not? So what the hell help her. Um, okay, he tries to fake getting a cutie mark, which didn't work for the CMC, and of course didn't work for her. It was instantly revealed that, uh, it was fake. Um, oh, no, the episode was very entertaining um the fact that she became a cutie marker here is uh very interesting mm -hmm. uh technically that's um five now then three main characters we know hope abs and um gabby you know Babs was supposed to return at some point this season i thought she was but we haven't seen her yet, which is weird. Not that many episodes left. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, yeah. So. The episode rating. Um, it wasn't, it was actually a very, uh, good episode, um, I couldn't hear some of the audio because I had to watch someone else's reaction to them watching it, because I couldn't fucking find a full, oh, 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 blown, um, fucking episode with outs someone else's commentary over so I had to completely he blank out what they were saying but they were talking over the fucking episode oh my god Hasbro are really trying my patience this season they really are our first full season as a fan and getting dicked over
not enjoying that. Anyway, uh... Seven and a half. I'll give it seven and a half out of ten. I think the episode is very good. Definitely be worth a rewatch when I can actually find a full version without commentary. And yes, I know I can get it on D, um, not DVR, Daily Motion. Uh, but Daily Motion is a big bag of shit. It's and it's just impossible to watch anything on it. So I have to wait for it to be on YouTube without someone's commentary over it. So um yeah. But seven and a half out of ten, not bad. definitely worth the rewatch. If you haven't seen the episode, go and watch it. Um yeah. And uh, I look forward to next week's episode, which is, um, crap, am I forgetting the order now? Why can't I remember? Hang on a second. I have to freaking look this up. One second. Let's see, twenty-six, twenty-four. Looking for episode twenty. Okay, here we go. Viva Las Pesas. Oh yeah, it's the um, episode where, where Flim and Flam make a third appearance. So, um, interesting. And, I mean, a third appearance where they're the actual focus of an episode, not I don't count the future where they took over Questia somehow, who at the end of last season, that was just cameo. Cameos don't fucking count. So yeah, I don't particularly like episodes that feature them, so yay, that should be hell. But yeah. Can you do? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I guess we'll, uh, wait and see. Let's see what, uh, Applejack and Fluttershy can do. Hmm. It's an interesting one. See ya. Thanks for watching. Um, enjoy. Smash the like button you did. Hit. And let me know what you thought of episode 19 in the comment section below. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.